What's up peeps, players, and pedal junkies? This is Zach here from, um, I guess my channel is called Tricera Motor, long story. But uh, I told some friends that I would do a product demo of the TC Electronic T2 Reverb pedal that I am currently enamored with. So let's get to it. So I ended up with the T2 because one of the projects I'm currently playing in is a trio that features a very talented looper who plays violin, cello, acoustic guitar, and vocals, and uh, an upright bass player. And my role as the guitar player is kind of to glue those together, uh, play in the background with a lot of sonic layers. And a lot of the effects that I had run before, especially the time-based modulation, just seemed a little harsh um, and out of place. And without drums, especially, your attacks really stand out. So I was looking for, for something that was just a little smoother, more ambient, more ethereal, and a little darker actually and that is why i fell in love with the t2 and that only happened because my new friend ben miller down at corner music in nashville uh, let me make whale calls and ghost noises for about three hours in the store and uh, not only did he get me on this pedal but he said brother if you're going to be playing this pedal you're going to be playing it in stereo it's like once you've been embraced by the sonic safety of stereo sounds you're never going to go back and and he's totally right i mean it was cool and mono but when you really hear what the full depth of the effect and the long tails do from left to right it's it's so much more interesting and dynamic so i'm going to do this demo in stereo as well and there is a trick to listening to that in stereo and youtube and i'll post that little trick as well. In the demo, I'm going to be playing my beloved PRS hollow body McCarty with pearly gates pickups, only running through the TC Electronics T2 pedal, um, stereo out into two amps and logic, one pan left, one pan right, and both amps are going to be a Vox simulated amp, basically all set to noon, so we get a pretty flat signal here an idea of the clean tone here. I'm actually not a huge fan of this particular tone, but I thought that'd be a better bass to show you what the T2 actually does and how much it can enhance a, uh, a pretty pedestrian tone. And I'm going to run this pedal pretty wet too, um, probably a lot heavier in the mix than I would normally use live, but if you're going to hear a demo, hear a demo. Now for the Reverb 2, which is a longer reverb with kind of a underwater vibrato. Again, that is only the T2 going, which is pretty impressive to me. You can get rid of a lot of pedals with that. Now to reverb number three. number three we're going to go on to number four which is kind of a big cathedral huge reverb this is all finger picked so you can see how much it starts to breathe
I'm going to do that again, but I'm going to roll the, the mix and the decay back just a little bit. It's super sensitive to the settings and a little goes a long way. go ahead and add a little dirt here from my Keeley modded tube screamer show you what it can do with a little gain going into it It's real deep. So that was four. Now number five is probably the most unique setting in this pedal. It is a slow pitch bending reverb that uh, you probably wouldn't want to use all the time, but used at the appropriate time would be extremely dramatic and very unique. Trippy. Yeah, man, that is just the T2. No whammy, no bending. It's all in the reverb tail. So on a number six, which I think is probably one of the settings that has the most utility. It's a, it's a warmer reverb with a little modulation depending on how you have the pedal set, but I think this is one that I'll probably use most often. <laughs> and kick on that tube screamer. to number seven um, this reverb actually has a flange effect tied in with it and most of the time I run a flange I probably have reverb going too so there's a good chance I'll probably take my flange pedal off the board and free up some space
Not a bad flange for a reverb pedal. Okay, now on to number eight, which I also really like and expect to use most often. It is just a deep hall reverb, and I'm going to run it pretty wet here, but it can be super huge. So I'm going to play it clean and then run with some gain. kick on a little TS9 dirt. Now on to E1, which is the ethereal one setting and it's kind of a reverb on a reverb creating additional harmonies. setting. E2 is obviously ethereal 2 and it has this modulated undertone that starts to build up you'll hear in the background. dial up that mix a little bit so you can really hear what's going on. And finally, we have the TP setting, which is tone print and something exclusive for TC Electronic pedal owners. This is the coolest thing I've seen in a long time. They have come up with a way for you to download pre-designed settings from their signature artists, and there's a ton on their website. And you can download that either through a micro USB cord directly to the pedal, or you can download their free app, pull up the setting that you want, and zap that sucker right into the pickups of your guitar, and your pedal will download that setting. So not only do you already have 10 extremely diverse, deeply rich sounds, but you have a freebie that could be 100 additional sounds and change them every hour if you want, right before the show or uh, right in the middle of rehearsal. It doesn't matter. It's super convenient and really exciting. So I appreciate what TC Electronics is doing and uh, also really uh, and thankful to Ben Miller down at Corner Music in Nashville for hooking me up with this pedal. And uh, this was my first pedal demo, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, have fun out there. Thanks. <laughs>